Well, seems like kind of a stretch using watermelon rinds and potato peels to power buildings. Yeah, but that's exactly what's happening here in southeast Wisconsin. Our Jenna Sachs explains in this Context 6 report. This Sendix store in Mequon used to fill about eight dumpsters a month with food waste. Now the store is down to just one dumpster a month thanks to this. We've been using it for almost two years and we have it in all but one of our full-line grocery stores here in Milwaukee. Think of the grind to energy system as an industrial-sized garbage disposal. In this case, the ground up food scraps go into a chamber instead of down the drain. When that chamber is full, the nutrient rich slurry is trucked away to be converted into energy. Those watermelon rinds and those orange peels and apple trimmings and potato peelings, all those things that you're producing, you know, they would otherwise go in your garbage at home, we're able to uh, use here through the Grind Energy program and really uh, make an impact on our uh, environmental footprint. The food waste from Sendix ends up here at the Metropolitan Milwaukee Sewerage District's South Shore site. It goes straight into what we call an anaerobic digester. You can't see the anaerobic digesters because they're all underground beneath these rolling hills along the lakefront. A couple of them are about three million gallons. They're huge. The digesters churn the waste and produce methane gas. We store it in these big, huge blue spheres, which we can then use later to uh, produce as much energy as we need. In all that power covers about 65 to 75 percent of the plant's total energy needs. Which really is tremendous for our customers and our taxpayers because it, the less energy we have to buy, uh, obviously the lower we can keep taxes. The same process is underway above ground over in the Menominee Valley, one block west of Potawatomi Hotel and Casino. Most people drive by and don't know the plants here. The tribe's business entity is making its own energy using waste from Wisconsin's food industries. Liquid waste that comes from food processing. So we get both, we get dairy, vegetable, and meat processing. The plant sells its electricity to We Energies, where it goes right onto the electrical grid, helping to power homes across the area. Once it goes out into the grid, those electrons go wherever the electrons are called. So maybe the next time you're in a grocery store, you look at the fresh packaged food section a little differently. Knowing all those food scraps could help keep the lights on in your home. I'm told one pound of food waste can power a 10 watt LED light bulb for about 17 hours and one tank of slurry can power a single family home for about 70 days. I'm Jenna Sachs, Contact 6. That's pretty interesting. I need one of these digesters at my home. That'd be cool. <laughs> like power your night lights or something Start like that. Start tossing everything you normally put in the, the garbage scraps. disposal in there, right? All right. Tom Wax, uh, uh, well,